Welcome back to Now I Know Friends. Today we are talking about Lime Weaver Berg Plot, also known as Double Reciprocal Plot. So, uh, of course, to understand this topic, we have to start with our Michael is maintained equation. So, let's begin this video. So, the Michael is maintained equation or MM equation is V0, the initial velocity is equal to V max into substrate concentration divided by Km plus substrate concentration. We all know this, right? MM equation. Now let's plot this and see what we get. So when we plot MM equation, this is what we are getting. We have the velocity on y-axis and substrate concentration on x-axis. And this is the uh, Vmax, that is the maximum velocity or this also is, uh, uh, you know, this is what your enzyme saturation point is. Suppose a uh, system has 10 enzymes and when all the 10 enzymes are bound by substrate that is the enzyme saturation point that gives the maximum velocity that is your Vmax and when you take half of this Vmax okay when you plot that corresponding substrate concentration is the Km value okay so Km is the substrate concentration where your velocity is half of the maximum velocity okay it's half v max substrate concentration when v0 is half v max is your k now this plot is used when we study kinetics of enzyme we want to find out v max we want to find out the km value but look at this this is a hyperbolic curve this is a hyperbola using such kind of a plot it becomes very difficult if you want to calculate or find out your values. So what scientists actually did, they converted this or you know I would say that they made it in a straight line plot. Okay, we know straight line plot when we say it is in the form of y equals to mx plus c. They rearranged this equation in the form that we get y equal to mx plus c and thus we get a straight line using that it becomes very easy to experimentally you know conclude the result or derive our values to find out v max and k so let's see how exactly uh, this mm equation is now uh, you know changed in the form of line weaver work equation all right so what we need to do is to convert this mm equation in line weaver work equation we need to take reciprocal of this equation on both the side right hand side as well as the left hand side and that is what is also called as double reciprocal plot so let's do it let's take reciprocal of this equation on both the side so we'll get 1 by v0 is equal to 1 by the whole thing v max into s that is the substrate concentration by km plus substrate concentration by v0 equal to since this is 1 by so whole thing will flip km plus substrate concentration divided by v max into s let's further simplify this so this is km divided by let's you know we are trying to take this in the form of y equal to mx plus c right so i'm trying to uh, arrange this equation in that form so we will have km by v max into 1 by s plus you have substrate concentration by v max into s over here s s we can knock it off so equals to km 1 by v0 equals to km by v max into 1 by substrate concentration plus 1 by v max now can you see this equation this is y equals to m x plus c so we got this equation we just rearranged it in the form of straight line equation so when you plot this now what we get so when we are plotting uh, this in the straight line what we get is see y is 1 by v0 x is 1 by substrate concentration and that makes sense because when we plotted mm equation what we had 
on y axis we had the velocity and x axis we had the substrate concentration since it's a reciprocal uh, uh, equation or reciprocal plot we are getting 1 by v0 and 1 by substrate concentration of course then what is this uh, c c is nothing but the y intercept okay that means wherever this line is intersecting this particular point is y intercept and according to equation we have 1 by v max and the x intercept is minus 1 by k now this I know we have seen from the equation and we have put the value over there. But what about this x intercept? Can I find out this value using this particular equation if I want to find out? You can do that. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll just erase this part and show you how to do that. And I forgot to mention this particular point m. In the equation is nothing but the slope. Okay, The slope on the line is m which is km by v max. All right. So you have y 1 by v0, m is our slope, x axis 1 by substrate concentration and c or the y intercept is 1 by v max. So what I was telling is if you want to find out this particular x, what this x exactly is, how I have got this particular value minus 1 by km, what I do is for this particular x point, my y coordinate is 0, I can see over here for this x my y is 0. So when we write x and y, I don't know what is my x, I want to find out but the y is 0. Let's put this value in this equation and see what we get. So y is 0 equals to km by v max into 1 by s is my x. Okay, so I'm writing it as x plus 1 by v max. Let's just simplify this. Take this v max over here, so minus 1 by v max is equal to km by v max into x. v max, v max, I can knock it out and I want to find out the x. So x equals to minus 1 by km. So you see how I have got this value? Similarly, I can also find out value of this particular y point y. I know this y intercept looking at the equation. It is 1 by v max. If at all I want to just cross verify, I can uh, do the same thing. What I can do is I want to find out again the y intercept and for this y intercept value of x is 0. What I will do over here is in this equation I want to find out the y. I know x for that particular coordinate is 0. So I will put 0 over here. If I do that and simplify, try to do it by yourself, you will get value as 1 by v max. Alright, so now why are we using this line view of Berg plot? Why are we using this double reciprocal plot? That is because using this straight line plot it becomes very easy to find out the value of v max and km. Okay, it is easy to uh, look at this plot and say whether we are dealing with you know what type of uh, inhibition it is. The uh, competitive inhibition, uncompetitive inhibition. So in short type of reversible type of inhibition can be uh, concluded seeing this graph when you plot it experimentally you can look at the value find out the value of Emax and km and can see what's happening in the reaction so that's all for now i hope i did not confuse you and it was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning